what's going on everyone I'm back again with another video um, I really want to just uh, elucidate on um, the suppressing issue that's very thought-provoking and it's much needed um, in this day and age um, and that's hatred uh, there's a lot of detestation going around in the world today um, from being associated with organizations religions um, uh, politicians um, rules and regulations uh, assortment of different things but uh, one in particular that stands out the most to me is um, hatred of self um, people are commenting upon a uh, a self eradication of who they are um, people are altering their appearance I mean excuse me their appearance to drastic measures such as uh, plastic surgery if it's not pertaining to the lips the nose the eyes um, altering their skin complexion, um, taking the, uh, these prescribed drugs to gain something fast so that way it's either to uh, um, give them the edge in playing a sport, playing any type of role when it pertains to media or just to you know fit in you know with different crowds because everything is so separated with different cliques and um, the hatred of self it, it is so virulent that it uh it, it poisons um those around us you know what i mean we'll go through drastic measures to uh change or alter our appearance in so many uh ways that uh we lose touch with who we are um for instance you know modifying the body uh, there's nothing wrong with taking minor, minor uh, precautions on modifying the body, such as um, changing the way you eat, uh, changing your workout routine, or you know, one to um, interpolate that uh, workout routine into your life. You know what I mean? That's still modifying the body, but that's minor changes because that right there is healthy. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm working out and I want to reach a certain goal um, just based upon what I perceive is correct just talking hypothetically here um, what I think will make me feel better um, I'll modify my body to, the, to that extent to get what I want but you know working out to be like you know Earl or John or you want to be like uh, Mary or uh, Sarah uh, that's looking outside so that's that's commencing a hatred of self act right there um you know it's nothing wrong with trying to change your lifestyle you know what i mean it's nothing wrong with trying to um you might be a little bit bigger than usual or normal uh, to try to slim down it's modifying your body right there but that right there that's that's essential you know for longevity um you know but you know plastic surgery and all this other bull crap that's going around that's that that's preposterous right there because uh you're looking outside self as i said before and it never gets old saying it because too many people look outside themselves you know people want to be like this guy they want to be like the person they see on tv magazines you know we're exposed to all this garbage this saturated bull bullshit point blank um that we try to alter our appearances so much to be like these 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 so-called stars when we are the star you know we are we descend from what is above we're all stars there's no such thing as all oh, the celebrity stars uh, uh, you know the glorification of the horrors of Hollywood and that's not just uh, associating with uh, females that's men as well you know we got this double standard life where when you think of a whore subconsciously think of a female you know that's not my perception when I think of whore I think of Hollywood point blank um, the glorification of these fake stars when they're empty point blank they, they have no soul they have no soul really you know they 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 live life uh, so fragmented um, and so um, perplexed that they don't even know who they are. You know what I mean? 
they crave the attention. That's all. And most people in this day and age, they just crave attention. That's all it is. You know, people, they they come so uh, insecure that they want attention in so many ways. Um, so, um, really, um, the hatred, this epidemic has to stop. Or I'm going to say pandemic, because that's what it is. It's widespread globally. Um, we have to stop looking outside ourselves. Um, for instance, uh, women may disagree. And I expect that, but uh, makeup. I mean, we're the the women. You're beautiful regardless. You know what I mean. What matters is inside. But I can understand that. Yes, the physical appearance in some ways matters to people. But um, what I would say is, um, women they tend to use makeup. At least my. Uh, perception of it. A lot of women, many women choose to use makeup because they want to attract the opposite sex. Or in the cycle we occupy today, it might be to attract the same sex. We don't know. But I'm just going to go off and say the opposite sex. So they want to attract them so they'll put this makeup on and dress up rather than a lot of women, you know, some women do just dress up because they, it's them. This is who they are. You know, they do it for themselves. Much respect to that. But a lot of women, they do it to crave the attention from guys. And um, they want someone to say they're pretty rather than tell themselves that they're pretty. You know, they look for external compliments when they should just compliment themselves from within. Um, and that right there, looking outside self right there. So uh, with the use of makeup, you know, someone will justify by saying it's a form of expression, it's a form of art. Um, I mean, it's interesting perspective, but at the same time, you know, you got to look at the, uh, the, the positive and negative as well of using makeup, you know, sure. The positive makes you look good. Okay. The negative, what is it doing to your skin? You know what I mean? What are those toxins actually doing to the, uh, to the, the outside, the outside layer? You know what I mean? As it sinks, sinks into your pores, what is it doing to your body? Um, don't look outside yourself, you know, keep, keep the beauty within and then it will shine without. That's all it is to it. You know what I mean? We're so connected that those of us who are in tune, will see the beauty within and then begin to see the beauty without, I mean, on the outside. So, you know, that's just one instance. Another, um, um, people constantly seeking plastic surgery to alter or to, uh, Aggrandize the size of a certain uh, part, in particular the chest area. You know what I mean? Um, or the buttocks. It, stop. Stop. Because it's not even really you. It's something else. You know what I mean? You're almost like a genetically modified organism. You know, except not the genetics, but uh, you're, modif you're modifying yourself to an extent of you're not even human anymore. So. The hatred of self has to stop. You know, you have to love self. You know, don't seek compliments, sure compliments on the outside. That, that's nice. You know what I mean? It makes us feel good as humans. But at the same time, we have to compliment ourselves because in, in this day and age, a lot of negativity going around. And complimenting yourself is essential now. Um, don't hate self. Love self. You know what I mean? Respect self. That's the most important thing. A lot of people, they don't respect self. You know what I mean? It's the reason why you see all this, this, these, all these atrocities and all these pregnancies and all this stuff is because that a lot of the girls or women they lost respect for self. Men had no respect for women. Um, it's really a double standard here in this world, especially in America. Um, but we have to begin to uh, uh, slow down this 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 pandemic that's taking place. Um, so um, want to keep the video short. Uh, just really. Uh, elaborate on the hatred of self um, and stop glorifying you know the horrors of Hollywood you know what I mean we we don't try to be like them because they're not even they're empty you know what I mean that you see it on a television that they seem so happy you want a life like that they're empty you know what I mean that's that's a museum you don't want to be a museum you don't want to be some artifact you know what I mean you want to stand out and be you be self you know that's the only thing you can be. And that's what you should be, point blank. No one can tell you how you should act. You should be self, you know what I mean? So 
continue to love um, to love self. Uh, we can't love each other until we love ourselves first anyway. Um, so uh, peace and love. More videos on the way.